Six states, nearly 3,000 miles of shoreline, and thousands of volunteers. It all adds up to hundreds of tons of trash taken out of the Ohio River. The Ohio River Sweep is the largest one-day cleanup event in the whole country. The DEP's Mike Huff has more. For nearly three decades now, volunteers have spent one Saturday in June picking up trash along the Ohio River shoreline. Today's cleanup in Huntington is one of nearly 20 cleanup sites from Hancock to Cabell County. The cleanup is organized every year by Orsanko, the Ohio River Valley Water Sanitation Commission. We've been doing the Ohio River Sweep for 29 years, and our volunteers have made incredible progress, but unfortunately there is still litter and there is still a need for this event. Cleanup efforts along the West Virginia shoreline are coordinated by the DEP, which provides bags, gloves, and litter grabbers, and arranges for pickup and disposal of all the collected trash. Um, I coordinated the supply requests, and I sent out supplies for about 2,500 people, so there's great interest in it here in West Virginia alone. Um, and then combined with the other states, it's a, it, there's a potential to do massive amounts of good, you know, getting litter out of the landscape and keeping it out of our waterways and ocean. The Ohio River Sweep averages about 8,000 volunteers each year and nets about 500 tons of trash. In the early years of the sweep, volunteers were finding large items, appliances, abandoned cars, even a sunken towboat. These days, the pickings are smaller, but no less important. In recent years, we're finding a lot of plastics so those convenience items that we all love and use, when they escape the trash management cycle, when we lose track of them in a parking lot, we're seeing a lot of plastics that make it to the Ohio River, unfortunately, and we need to collect those before they move on. The environmental impact of the plastics is if we don't collect them now, ultimately they will travel to the Mississippi and the ocean, and then they will break down and become more difficult to collect. Unfortunately, we only recover about 5 to 10 percent of the plastic we produce. The rest ends up in landfills, or the landscape, and from there into our waterways. Once in the water, plastic never fully biodegrades, but it breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces called microplastics, something less than 5 millimeters long and still able to cause problems for marine life. Keeping plastics particularly out of the environment is a worthwhile thing to do. And probably that's one of the most important things to pick up those and like things like tires and rubber products uh, because they just don't break down as fast. I mean, we don't like to see waxed paper and, you know, wood and organic stuff, but the real problem in terms of durability and, and longevity in the environment is plastic, certainly. That coil of monofilament fishing line? Scientists estimate it will take 600 years to break down in the environment. That plastic drink bottle, 450 years. That foam cup, 50 years. That plastic bag, 10 to 20 years. Nearly 100 volunteers showed up in Huntington for this year's sweep. Organizers say there's a strong turnout every year. It shows that Ohio River Sweep has an amazing group of volunteers who understand the importance of the Ohio River and what a great resource it is right in our backyard. It provides drinking water, it provides recreation and industrial support, and River Sweep is a simple, easy event to spend a few hours and help clean the Ohio River. It's the volunteers that make it happen. We couldn't do it without, without them. In Huntington, I'm Mike Huff for Environment Matters. The Ohio River Sweep is held every year in mid-June. To find out more, visit Orsanko's website, orsanko.org.